What do you think Frankie's having for lunch, Jay? Bologna. I'm searching bologna. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, is that, what is that, butter or ice cream? Mashed, oh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes? Oh, my God. Fuck yeah, man. Right. Stay warm. <laughs> so that's, is that fried bologna with mustard and some kind of ground black pepper? Yeah. They ground the pepper. I think he said sturgeon bologna. Oh, is that they sturgeon bologna? No. Sturgeon it's bologna. just regular bologna. <laughs> Speaking of regular bologna, Jay White cotton. What was next? Is that yeah. bologna and ice cream? That was a transition, baby. Oh, that was a perfect oh transition. My God. Jay right, White cotton is right with the bologna in the comedy industry, Frankie. How about you? Uh, yeah, no, get it not all just comedy. Mouth. Fuck all of entertainment, all that shit. Uh, like, uh, like the movies, especially. Like, uh, sure. I, I hope your movie doesn't suck. I really do. Uh, I'm gonna base your movie wow. because I don't. No one watches movies anymore. They they, no, they read the synopsis. How many laurels on? Uh, how many of those stupid fake laurels are you putting on your promotion? Are you talking to me? Because they're not fake. They're real. You. So no, no, that's, that's all fake. All. It's all bullshit. It's <laughs> how many though? How many? I have ten. Uh, that's not bad. Are they all on? Thank there? you. Yes, I, I think that that's not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> we were no, I think you should make up your own Laurel credits. No one checks. Well, no I think you're both on the same Houston page. Not to interrupt you, Jay. You're both whatever. on the same page yeah. that the industry is fucking jaded and right. garbage. And that's why she. we were just, I don't know if you were listening before you came on, but she was. Yeah, so, I was I was making it a point too, yeah. Yeah, she was I, supposed I, to be cast shit. in fucking glass. And they're like, no, no, uh, we got to have a black actress. And even though she wasn't good at what she did, they gave it to her. And then they pulled the whole part so no one got it and that ended up being oh, was God. still in it, they you know rewrote what? the whole script so she only had like three you lines know, yeah and it's, it's a shame well, rewrote well, your whole script so i only okay. had three lines well that's a different <laughs> hold point. on hold, so. hold on <laughs> the, the, hold on hold on before we do this before we do this i gotta do this right because sometimes this gets lost in translation uh what Good are movie. your values like What's genuinely what are your values like Earth? just in general what are your values me or are you talking to yeah, Gina? anyone I'm talking to both of you guys. My, my values are simple. I'll go first to make it easy. Like, I yes, uh, I was talking earlier how far my set has evolved post, pre and post pandemic. And I love mm -hmm. that, that I get to, like, the, people used to say I'm too angry on stage, but I'm angry <laughs> because I get frustrated that people, yes, Frankie, that looks like delicious sturgeon bologna. I get frustrated that the bologna. world, yeah, they, and I put a little design on it. I, I'm, I'm a man for oh the people. God. I get frustrated that life is so easy and people try to, to, as I saw in the pandemic, bully us. They tried to bully us into being afraid, yeah. bully us into being scared, Agreed. separate us, isolate us. And now my set is literally making fucking statements that I think begin brilliantly, but I'm too stupid to finish it. So it's always a dumb joke at yeah. the end. That is what I stand for. It's like comedy above all else. And I say this in the act now, the people that try to cancel people don't realize comedy is fucking art. Comedy is fucking art. You write a book about the Holocaust, it's brilliant. You make a painting about a tragedy, it's brilliant. You make a joke about it and do the greatest thing in the world you can and try and disarm the, the sorrow of it right. with laughter and people are like, no, you can't do that. Right. Fuck you. And don't ever tell me what I'm doing is an art. That's my, my belief. Right. Okay, okay, so I, like, I agree. Uh, and the thing that I wanna talk about that's the extension of that, do you? Do you feel like, uh, hey, Gina, stay with me. I know. Like, I'm with you. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm with you. I apologize. Like, shiny Go keys on, Jay. to you. Yeah. Like, like it, your inner retard, this is your shiny keys. Put a, put a doofus up there, and you're like, oh, I can't get away from that. But like, I can't. Focus for a second. Uh, that's why you're having problems with your punchlines uh, with these brilliant setups. It, it's, do you feel like problems. Um, your anger in response to that subtext, uh, subsect of culture? is creating this defined version of you. So you're defined by your enemies. So you're not creating the art you actually wanna art, you're just reacting. No, I think I, I'm saying now I am creating the art I wanna create and I do yeah. want it to yeah. be, I don't think uh, me on stage is a place to pontificate on stuff and act like how smart I am. I think that it's, you know, it's the, the let me give you a, a comedy term that you'll understand. The zigzag, buddy, yeah. I zig, started yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. yeah. I zig like I'm really intelligent and then it's like. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so okay, but I'm, I'm saying like, I, go yeah, on, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, I feel like uh, everyone's kind of in that state from their own point of view and they feel that way. But I think um, uh, at the end of the day, we've overvalued entertainment as a whole and we need to remember, we need to devalue it more. We're just fucking entertainers. Uh, it's turned, comedy to me, what people call stand-up comedy is turned to either 
uh, a shitty impression of Joel Olstein where it's about their, uh, their presumed, I believe you should be acting this way. So it's the Clapter audience. And then the other side is the morning zoo fucking radio disc jockey subsect where no one's really focused on just the craft about what is the zag. Let's focus on the zig. Your setup is important. Let's talk about the craft. What is in the way of us talking about craft? A bunch of irrelevant bullshit because we let improvisers and fucking hacks define the medium because the veterans who were really good at this were too narcissistic to actually develop the fucking new people coming up. So it, fuck all entertainers. None of us deserve anything is where I'm kind of coming from. Aaron, you want to jump in on this? Yeah, hey, hey, man. how are you? I watched uh, I watched your video. I loved the video that we watched of you today. The old Kaepernick thing. I thought it was really oh, well put you. together. Yeah. And uh, and also I needed to talk to you because my friend Colm Terrell wants to go down and I go, you got to go do the blind tiger. But I forget who runs it. And then all of a sudden you pop up on our calendar today and I go, ah, blind tiger. There we go. I got to put you two yeah, guys so in touch. Yeah, um, yeah. it's here's, uh, I, here's I, I, where I yeah, think yeah. the. The problem with real comics mentoring, and it did, you know, I'm a 20 year vet. I'm, I'm very good at stand up, I think you probably know. Yeah, you are. Uh, no, I, like I was saying that earlier that I, I was disappointed because I think you could be greater, but uh, because of the content shit, you've been forced to put out like uh, <laughs> stuff that, like the crowd work album shit. I, I get so sad when I see comics have to do crowd work because we got to yeah. fill up content. You know what I mean? The industry. I like are, are, I like it, putting stuff out, and crowd work isn't crowd work is also part of my process. That's how I write is by doing crowd yeah. work, and then it turns into stuff. But I agree with you. Sometimes you just put stuff He's out to make money. I, I'm not above doing right. that. Uh, but I think part of the mentorship That's thing was we want to hear different stories. We want to have access to different stories. And I think about ten or fifteen years ago, part of that was opening up and being more inclusive to other voices. And I think that's where we fucked up because we didn't teach I agree. other people how to be funny. And and we were just like, hey, we need this, like, uh, we need a really unique Muslim lesbian perspective because there's not a lot of jokes like that in the club. So they would have the two jokes and then the rest of it yeah. just became fluff and then it became identity politics for lack of anything better. And it's uh, it's really sad to watch how that happen. But there's still you can still make your own way and be a great stand up. And it has nothing to do with the industry. I don't know if you can uh, necessarily do that uh, as far as the great stand up part, because I, uh, the watering down effect that the improv people uh, when they when improv and stand up got together to, 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 to perform in front of the same audience. A lot of the improvisers realized, oh, we've been telling audiences that it's not supposed to be funny. And then they yeah. took that attitude in the stand up and was pretending it was funny when it was no craft. It was just a bunch of bullshit that used to be ran out of the clubs because we recognized hack profiteers just trying to chase the attention. Yeah, but that may actors. be more of a San Antonio problem than a New York problem. New oh, York no, keeps sir. Its improvisers no, sir. very no, far sir. away. We, no, no, we that is a fucking problem all over far the place. Away. I wonder what Frankie no, has to say about that. this. Is he here? Hi, Frankie. Yeah, no, it's Hi. I'm doing it's not happening in New so York. It's her. not an issue in New York. It's not an issue I'm, in Brooklyn. It's not an issue uh, in Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm talking, but not in New York proper. That's not, not in New York. City. That's the same not fucking in the city. thing. Thank you, Frankie. What it's happening everywhere. That that that's a cultural mindset that because media is so widespread okay. that it actually it's is what, what's happening down. in New York. But you're saying, you're versions. saying improvisers. Okay. Do you mean improvisers or do you mean woke bullshit? Wait, wait, wait. What, say it one more time. Do you mean improvisers or do you mean woke bullshit? Cause they're too uh, well, very I think woke bullshit <laughs> and improvisers, I think, uh, I think a lot of those things are kind of hand in hand. Like if we were to break, like we're doing this. Yeah, they come like, from the same five plot, different... but they're not the same thing. Yeah. If, if no. I can jump they in. Have the same same values. There's an influx. They have the same values. Welcome to PTI. There's an influx of woke bullshit. There's not, there's not <laughs> improvisers Aaron, coming Aaron, to these stand-up at good this. clubs let, in New let, York. Aaron, I apologize. Uh, let me explain this uh, from my point of view so you understand oh what I'm saying uh, because we're having a, a, a okay. communication yeah. breakdown on this. Um the okay. machinations of improvisers trying to fake being entertainers, uh, trying to fake being celebrities, 
um, the, the motivations to do that is the same motivations as woke, pretending to appear as something, but ultimately still selfish in their own desires. And they actually well, if I can jump in real quick, I'm an actor. About, Watch this. Let's I, have well, an actor for perspective. That's not what I do. In, no. Uh, I don't care I how many people see something. You. No, I'm just saying from I an was, actor's perspective. No, I'm no, just but trying definitely to give it to please you. personalize it from all because as if I was talking about you as opposed to I was talking a generalized Who thing. This guy? Please demonstrate say, narcissism. Right, Jesus, in please shut I, I, up for Thank two you seconds. for doing that. Wow. I was trying to finish my sentence when you jumped in, sure, so it's go. difficult to do that when you wanted to make this hey, about you. You've been talking you. for 10 minutes. Frankie, did you finish your yeah. mashed potatoes? I only got one more to go. <laughs> That's how we soften it up. Back to you, Olivia. Well, what else am I supposed to say? I mean, if you want to continue your monologue, go right ahead. Oh, it's continuing a point. So, are we doing are we doing kayfabe? Is this wrestling? What are we doing here? Are we well, we're just trying to. We're, we're all trying to. We're all trying to share our values. And I was trying to interrupt and ask you. Yeah. I told you my values, Please. and I'm curious as to what yours are because you've been doing comedy. Fuck quite bitches some and time get money. Now. What's that? Fuck bitches and get money. Those are my morals, Gene. <laughs> okay. Where were you when I was fucking sitting there oh in the back God. of a? I, what are you? What are your values? Like what the the question you asked me that I believe I answered very thoroughly, sure. saying that I, yes, I sir. That, that I rail yeah, against it on stage, and I uh, like and I've said this as well. Fucking, we either go within or we go without, and I say whatever the fuck I want to say, and it will find its audience. And if people agree, they and this is what we did with that film that that Olivia just made called Traitors, and it's getting all. All the accolades from the people that agree. It, she was telling me a funny story yesterday how someone's like, oh, congratulations, you got accepted. And then they had to apologize. Like, oh, no, you were on the fucking right. rejected list, but we sent you the wrong email. Yeah. But this is what you do when you put out your genuine voice. So if you say whatever you want. really wasn't the right audience. So you're right. not going to be upset about that. So you get to say what you want to say, yeah. and that will draw on the people you like. Right. So it's it's not that hard to battle anymore, given all the different platforms. So what right. what voice do you want to get out there? I, I think the voice that I'm thinking about is uh, one, it is listening to other point of views that I need to uh, like, cause I've been shitting on media so much. It's why Good. I wanted to compound, right. uh, come on here so I could hear like a perspective that I, I kind of disagree with sure. uh, and maybe kind of put myself to task a little bit. So I, I don't mind a little conflict and, uh, but to do it, I don't think people were talking to each other. I think we get so caught up talking at each other under these formats that we end up not listening to the actual person or trying to really that. So when I say the value thing in this context, I think uh, rich kids have kind of taken over and I think we need to be seen as famous so much that our entertainers are dictating uh, values now. Like, uh, like I, I think most of us are just selfish narcissists and, and mostly full of shit and we should be considered frivolous and enjoyed that right. way every point of view can be said we're not world changing fucking people we're selfish pieces of shit anyone who could yeah. wake up in this world and say i think more people need to pay attention to me is fundamentally flawed and not woke all of us are full of shit so and you we uh, overvalue i wouldn't go that far yeah so I, you, I think I, that you're overthinking that's where your I, money I is you're, though of course not well it's if you're doing right it for money, money if you're doing money comedy for money, money get a real job okay you'll get benefits back to you yeah. Aaron. i'm sorry i i think that we're thinking it a bit i think like if you're not doing this you're thinking about it so maybe the issue is not you didn't have the right platform or you're not creating enough right now because that's what it seems like. To say that we're all self-important douches is incredibly erroneous. And a lot of us use our comedy to do really good shit. We saved a lot of people's lives throughout the past couple of years. Uh, we have people it, reach uh, out saying that we kept them sane. And you don't believe it. I, but you're I, also not at no, that I level believe... where you have access. You don't have access to do it because you're thinking about it too much. Oh, no, Aaron, I've heard that before. And uh, I've always felt that that was a trap for the ego to believe that you yeah, were well, actually saving I, I a mean, person's look, life. I mean, look, you can navel gaze and be as Bill Hicks as you want all day. It comes down to laughs and it comes down to putting it out and making people see it and enjoy it and you enjoying it. And if you're not enjoying okay, it, then okay, by all on. means, that, you, that, you should quit. No, no, that confuses me because, like, I'm not thinking about this in Bill Hicks. I'm generally thinking of this less ego. Bill Hicks, to me, was nothing but ego. He had a lot of brilliant jokes and I'm not talking about, but he, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cut the ego out so I don't say shit where you, like you're calling me Bill Hicks and at the same time talking about how your comedy has saved lives. That's the right. same thing to me. 
So that's the communication yeah, breakdown that I'm having. So you it's don't a, realize, a, Aaron, I'm sorry. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. It's a crazy business. But it's a, it's, 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 you're right. You're right. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a never revolving dichotomy, man. And I mean, you, you've seen it. You've been on the front lines of it. And it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't have to make sense. But it is a joyous thing. And it's a very noble art form. Yeah, and I, I think feel like that we're if having you, an if intervention. If you've lost that, if you've lost that, then maybe it's time to just step away for a little bit. And oh, then check absolutely, back man. In. That's what I've done. Yeah. No, that's actually what I've been done. Because I, I'm exploring I this. dig what you do. And I think that if it gets to that point where you're not digging it and you just think that it's full of ego, then, then punch out, take a break for a bit, and then come back. It'll still be here. Oh, I, that's what I've done. That's why I was surprised I'm, on, I'm even on this podcast. I'm like, I've been very quiet. I'm, I'm and glad. And studying, I'm glad that you know? you're here, and I'm glad that we're discussing this. Agreed. And I love hearing, you know, different points of view. And and the simple yeah, fact no. of it is, is, and I would think you'd agree because, dude, trust me, I uh, I couldn't wait to send them all your Colin Kaepernick video because I have a problem with that as well. That's a guy that that fucking sucked at his job and fucking tried to make it political rather than just being like, look, I'm not good at what I do. But the simple fact is, is like laughter, and I talked about this during the pandemic, and I have a feeling you'll agree, laughter is the one thing they tried to prevent during the pandemic rather than teaching us how easy it was to prevent COVID. And all the articles that come out now, like, hey, gets, an article just came out uh, over the weekend that said uh, the indoor lockdown was not only ineffective, it was the worst thing you could do because the study showed that people that kept active and did their jobs fucking stayed healthier longer and in response to all that the greatest thing you could do is make people laugh laughter heals you it relieves stress it releases endorphins you can get on an elevator with a complete stranger and show them your dick sorry about that and they will fucking laugh Where's and it increases a group dynamic and all they did for the past two years was try and separate us so i would argue get back in the game and fucking hustle jay because laughter is more important now than ever and i saw you put out your special right you, you were all ready to do this fucking special and covid hit and what did you do my man you put it on fucking youtube for fucking free and said you can donate to me if you want but you got the laughter out there so i don't I, i'm hoping we didn't lose you but you seem you were like right on the, the, the well that's probably wrong because i couldn't agree more with the path you were on when you did that oh i'm still doing that i'm next month i'm releasing the sequel uh kind of making fun of uh the whole thing too at the same time I, I believe in being funny over everything else. Like I can I have a serious show. conversation, <laughs> but I don't believe that. Uh, I, I think the danger is our, our egos are getting in the way of the work and we're caught up in this media narrative of a left and a right. When I think most people are just full of shit and are going to act on their own self-interest. But I don't think the great comedians the have egos. I mean, look at me. I spent the per first half hour making fun that I'm a 53 year old man that fucking got woken up in a car drunk, like, like egos get in the way of comedy. And I think the beauty of it is now is we gravitate to fucking this. We hang out with people like we have Frank on all the time. And if anyone ever tries to besmirch him, people go at him fucking voraciously because the, the like minds yeah. now will band together and they will find platforms to get their voice out. Wouldn't you agree or no? Okay. Frank. Uh, I disagree. Disagree. I, I disagree because I think the platforms have created the artists to be on equal level with the audience, uh, and the platforms are the one profiting while we're just making we're fighting over chump change. So you're the art, saying the audience, you're saying a guy can get on a YouTube happened. platform with nothing to say and get millions of views? Show a Frankie video. I'm actually gonna try and test that theory out, to be honest. I would like to test that out, but so I think You're that saying is a guy true, can yeah. do absolutely nothing, get on YouTube and get millions of views, and it's just the platform that makes him famous? What Gino, you know, I think that's an interesting thing to try. I think that's hilarious. What if, you can try we do it that? On OG Productions? Yeah, I do. There we go. We do, do we have that video? Can we make that? That Any would be video. so funny. What is Let's try it. <laughs> Timing. No, Everybody. doing nothing. You have to do nothing. That would. I want. I want to see that. I. I actually Look did that during call. quarantine. I did. A, I did a. Uh, I did an hour podcast where I was just watching uh, Family <laughs> Guy and Rick and Morty. It was Great just show. my point of view watching it, <laughs> and uh, I just reacting. And I gave it to all the Zoom shows to edit in. So I didn't have to actually do the podcast where everyone was, all the squares are listening to the shit. I said, here's an hour of me watching Family Guy. Just edit that in and just put my name in there. I don't want to fucking do this horse shit. 
And did uh, they, do? they didn't think it was funny. No, I, really? I, they didn't do it. They needed it. They need attention so bad they can't even do that bit. It, it, it sucked. It sucked. <laughs> it sounds like you're not enjoying the stand up like you used to. Like Aaron said, not the circle all the way back 20 minutes no, ago. No, man. I, Aaron, yes. It's why yeah. I wanted to. Um, I got honestly, it's why I, I just wanted got to, talk to the to above it. ground pool store. So I got to go in. I'm going to get an above ground pool. What are you doing? Don't go diving. <laughs> Getting an above ground pool. <laughs> Why are you getting in hey, a above Aaron. ground pool? I don't know. Yeah. Aaron, thanks for coming back on to uh, chat a little bit. Like, uh, honestly, I, I want to talk to comedians doing it so I can get that out, that different perspective because I think 90% of this Gino. culturally <laughs> is taking over by these fuck. No, Gino, you're awful. Like, what are you trying? I, I, I listened to your Spotify you, albums. I heard the rage. You can do so, you can do better. Uh, mm -hmm. Your teachable fucking moment was not don't pass out drunk in your car. It's make sure you have a fake fucking police badge. That's your teachable movement it was to get out of a be... fucking arrest. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, just have oh, a boy, fucking Gene. cousin on the blue. Like, that's the teachable moment. Fucking get drunk, sleep in your car. Don't fucking drive, but yeah, or at least I want you guys to go at it real hard when I hang up, and I will. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll talk uh, privately off the show as well. And Frankie. I hope you have yeah. a good uh, dessert. Uh, Frankie, what are you eating? Okay. I already ate three potatoes already. Those mashed potatoes are almost look like ice cream to me. It's mashed potatoes, not ice cream. <laughs> good. Bye. All right, Bye. I'll, call, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I love Aaron Berg right. so much. By the way, I don't know if you Thank know you this, Jay, but Frankie, Frankie killed Bob Saget. He killed him. I didn't do it. I repeat, uh, I didn't do it at all. <laughs> Wait, and corn seagull? I didn't, no, I didn't what? do it. I repeat, I didn't do it at all. It's not true. I repeat, not true. We have, we have, we have, uh, we have a uh, video evidence of Frankie killing uh, uh, Bob Saget. He, he. It's how did he true. die? Repeat, Frankie, true. Frankie. Here we go. We meant Uncle Joey. I got the wrong one. Yeah. We were looking for Uncle Joey. <laughs> there you go. I am. I'm doing good so far. Who is this girl? <laughs> We've this met girl. before, Frankie. <laughs> yes. This I is Olivia. I didn't know. I, I, I <laughs> took the compliment. I <laughs> fucking love Jay. He's like, is it because of my lung? <laughs> the the girl with the uh, with the grayish hair. Hey, is, this uh, dick Jay. ain't retarded. This dick ain't retarded. He can get out of it. Love you. Love you. That's Fuck, Olivia Frankie. Grob. Frankie goes to She's... Hollywood. Frankie goes. To... Uh, Olivia, I'm, sorry. I'm Frankie McDonald. I'm doing great so far. I gotta Hi. show you something. A coffee, my book, Feed Prepare to Frank Dog Guide to Life, Wear, and Everything. Oh, man. Oh, you got a book? Hell yeah. He does have a Frankie, book. I love. Hey, Frankie, can I be honest, man? Uh, I thank you for being here because your presence is the perfect uh, anecdote to me being serious. So I've been having fun getting serious while they let you come in and pop in. So thank you for doing that, man. I, see, he's all, I feel like you're honestly trying to be some kind of like heel in wrestling to get your point across. But the bottom line is like, I've seen your stuff and it looks like you're always trying new shit. Like you genu yeah. genuinely love creating, but it, like, are you fucking with me? Are you really soured on what's going on right now? Cause I would think someone like Absolutely. you- Absolutely. And please correct me if I'm wrong, Olivia. I think someone like you would be like, what a time to be alive. Because there's so many platforms for there's you to- There's so many opportunities to for try whatever the creators. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, please keep going. No, okay. not everyone has an ego. I mean, personally, I'm trying to get this out here so that I can tell stories that other people would love to hear. I'm not trying to get yeah. any narrative across. I'm not trying to get any yeah. accolades for this. If two people saw it and enjoyed it, amazing. I changed two people's lives. And doesn't matter if I'm in it. Doesn't matter if Gino's in it. It's doesn't matter who is acting in it. If a story is told and it changes someone's life, then I think you did something good. So when you say I don't want to get an egomaniac, then yeah. No, 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 no. I think we're all egomaniacs and we have to learn that better. When, when you say you don't do it for accolades and you're not interested in accolades or inferring or as such, sure. uh, we already talked about laurels and I asked how many laurels and you knew the exact number and that's on all the marketing. So because I got an alert earlier today. Matter. Wait here, let me think. Uh, accolades but, um, matter. Um, accolades um, matter to you. Oh, no, You're I checked it earlier like today. What you, how many? Okay, let me ask you this. How many comedy shows it's, do you have coming up? My little girl's all grows up, all grows up. No, I'm being serious because you I know off the top of your head yeah. how many things you have coming up because it's a business. It's not no, for any. No, honestly. Hold on. You just oh. hold on. I can answer that question honestly. I uh, right. I've no, agreed that's to my point. Everything is that you know. I don't know what shows. I don't know. I don't know. I uh, you, I don't know until I got. I, well, then I'm you're not running your I business properly. So I'm not running a business. I'm doing art. Stupid. 
So she's doing well, art You're too being stupid. dumb because it is art and a business. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, oh I'm filming something so. on the stage. I don't, I don't I feel think it like has you're to trying... be that. You go. I apologize. No, I don't, you, know, I don't, you can I step think, in. Think, I'm not going to over... No, but I just feel like you, think, you want yourself to... Like, you're really good at what you do, Jay, but I feel like the way you're talking... And and look, I'm just a guy who sleeps in his car in the in a blizzard. But look, I feel like you want yourself... Like, you're mad at yourself and you feel like you don't deserve right. to succeed. Yeah, yeah. Why are you? What? I don't think any. I, hold on, Gino. I don't believe anyone deserves anything. I don't believe in the deserve thing. Uh, no, and you get what in you get when you get what you get. I agree with that completely. Maybe. With you. and if you don't, you don't. Uh, my my intentions are. Uh, I, I reject entrepreneurialism that has infected entertainment and a lot of the mirroring exercises that people get their checklist. You need to have these laurels. Do you need to be able to do this? So what it's created is a culture of people mirroring and simulating what it sounds like to do stand up or do movies or do art in general, but they're, they're doing this business mentality that actually cuts out the artistic value of it, generalizes it, and then industrializes it to platforms. Let me interrupt so that the you for audience a moment. And the, hold on. The yeah. audience and the audience okay. becomes Okay, No, no, don't then, tell me to hold on. You came onto the show attacking me for no reason at all. Oh, shit. No, I wasn't go attacking. Watch, well, why don't you go watch yeah, well, Traders and then get back to there me? There was a reason. And then we can have a discussion. But am I wrong to say no. you should get excited about your laurels or whatever because the bottom line is you're not like, how much money can I make? You created and that's how you okay, want your crew cool, to get cool, recognition cool, cool. so they can Gino. right here oh my god hold on i apologize god. olivia I, I promise i will absolutely want to hear uh, what you say next uh this is not me cutting you off i, no, I sure, apologize for that gino uh when gino when you talk about the laurels uh the, the reason i'm kind of like suspicious of the laurels is because once people started putting the laurels on the things that these things matter uh, th then every shit movie and hack and entrepreneurial business minded person just started littering things with laurels saying and, and on shitty movies. They were really not. Most movies are bad in general. Uh, not uh, traitors. Uh, OK. No, OK. Stop projecting. I'm dead most of it's, the movie. So it's a good that's movie. That's why it's a good movie. Yeah, go on. So when the device becomes co-opted by entrepreneurial and becomes a marketing tactic that covers up a lacking of quality, at what point are we supposed to not be suspicious about the fucking laurels and pursue other avenues of presenting the art so people can learn to trust your artistic vision instead of the checking uh, the little dots of what you think you need to, to produce content? That There's a place in the world for values. the angry young man with his working class ties and his radical plans. He refuses to bend. He refuses to crawl. And he'll always be home with his back to the wall. And he's proud of the jobs and the battle he's won. And he struggles and bleeds as he hangs from the cross. But he likes to be known as the angry young man. I feel mm. like you're trying to complain about that stuff from? when you just needed a break from fucking all that you've done. Sure. I've seen your stand-up. I've seen your comedy. It's good. You have a point. And now you just seem like you want to, I don't want to say attack, but just, you are I feel like you're questioning a lot of things right now. And maybe, maybe. Okay, this is, okay. This, to answer that, uh, it, it's funny to me that you consider this an yes. attack, but I think it's... 825 it's funny episodes, I'm, a guest said it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, go it's on. It's funny to me, yeah. Gino, it's funny, it is funny to me because uh, it also hurts because like, in no way do I mean this as an attack. I'm genuinely interested and curious about what I, what I, I'm, in, I'm interpreting as a, uh, a conflict in creation and creativity. And I'm questioning it openly and I noticed that with entertainers, Hang all of followers. you get really upset at me for doing this. And they're like, Jay, you're angry, you're pissed off, you're bitter. And I, it's hard for me to explain to someone like you or, or you guys that at no point did I ever believe in myself or expect Why? anything for myself? There are people I just, in the biz that shouldn't believe in themselves. That's You're not the one funny of them. part. That's what's funny to me. You're like, how could this guy not give a shit about all the stupid fake stuff that doesn't fucking matter? What is wrong with him for not co-signing on my horse shit? Okay. This is this is horse no, shit. Let me say, you go. No, to I my don't own believe point of view. in these accolades. I believe in meeting people and going to these events and networking so that everyone can have a voice and tell a story. It's not, oh, there's ten laurels on my thing. Wow, I must be good. No. It's how many events I went to, how many times my crew got to meet new people and get new jobs and be able to have money to pay for food for their family and not have to worry about where their next paycheck is coming from. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's I. I love that. I love that value a lot because I have a lot of friends on that side of the industry, sure. and I, I used to work on that side. Uh, I'm a big fan of like.
trying not to shit on like a lot of movies that I know feed people. Like I think that is a right. very noble thing. It's a job creation thing. But I didn't come here to talk about the uh, dynamics of other people eating. I came here to talk about just storytelling and creativity in general. And I think the conflict is that the media platforming uh, where we just raise up all the voices, it ends up, uh, uh, is, this happens in all sorts of industries. It's happening in uh, indie wrestling, professional wrestling. This is happening in music. It happens in arts. It, it's not a problem that's just stand-up comedy. It's a problem of what happens when we industrialize any medium. And I think the values change, and it's important to talk like this so we understand what we're doing and what our intentions are for doing it. Because at some point, Hold There's a callers. whole bunch of people fighting to put their they're, they're fighting to put their content on Spotify and Spotify is not actually paying the artists. They're, they're focused on the business. So the act of creating becomes this generalized thing anyone can do. And it's it, it changes what it is. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. That's why. I'm All right. Well, watch this. Let's let's see what a caller thinks. Now, I'm going to let you choose. Would yeah, you please. like to talk to the caller that says. This guy is 100% right, or the color that says, fuck this fag? You pick. I want to hear definitely from fuck this fag. I knew you I would. I want to hear I, fuck Rusty, this fag. you're in hot water with our fucking boy, Jay fucking. Uh, I'm sorry, Jay White Coke. Jay White Cotton, excuse me. I Whatever, forgot your I It's a long last name. Bro. All right, Rusty, go for Jay. First of all, I'd like to say you have gorgeous hair, and your eyebrows are very nice. Thank you. There yeah. you go. Compliments. Thank you, sir. Scottish. Secondly, you're kind of a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. I'm being a faggot. I know that. I, I love I, our I'm callers. willing to be a faggot to answer oh some God. questions. What do you think? Why, why am I being a faggot? Though? Good question. Why, well, Rusty? For starters, a good comedian could go on stage and do a set, but a great comedian can adapt that set mid-fucking set and talk to the crowd and change it and be funny on the fly. Oh, I no, could, dude. I've seen shitty comedians, comedians do, do that, too. Have them do David Tell set. But to have him go off from that, they wouldn't be funny. Oh, no. David Tell is the most underrated comedian out there. He, they, people don't understand he's a master at being able to do that. He's my crowd. favorite comedian of all time, Jay. He really is. Uh, I, honestly, man, I'm right there with you. I'm right yeah, there with you. He, he, I could listen to Skanks of the Memories, and I've said this on the show, back-to-back -back 30 times and laugh just as hard the 30th time. Rusty, so we all agree Rusty, on that. Rusty. Rusty, Rusty, before you yes, leave, uh, real I'm quick. Remembering the name. Uh, God bless him. Do, do you do stand up comedy or are you just really whatever. interested in the stand up comedy, the culture? I like stand up comedy. Never okay. done it in my life. Uh, I'm not going to sit okay. and say that I would be good at it because I don't no, know. No, no, no. I'm not try, asking but... you to qualify. I'm not, I'm not judging you for it. I, I'm, I'm, there's a thing is like having also been in it for uh, 20 years, I've seen what people. Call crowd oh, work. Uh, th there's, there's so much. I could do a fucking hour on this, just talking about it. But I'll, I'll tell you, man. The, the trick of crowd work, it, it, it fundamentally can be a very cheap stand up comedy. When you said good versus mm -hmm. great, here, here's the truth. Stand up comedy is the easiest thing to pretend to do. The hardest thing to be great at. <laughs> Meaning that a right lot in. of people pretend. Drew Michael, that, that, that Drew Michael, HBO, watch his specials, please, to watch someone pretending to do stand-up comedy that could actually do it. Because that thing is just absolute horseshit, pathos. Uh, and people are like, moved yeah. by it because it's an easy trick. Mm -hmm. It's an easy trick. But the people that have been involved in the craft understand the easy tricks uh, uh, better than the audience that is now getting more savvy to it. I, I don't fucking know. This is the part where I get kind of confused and become a fat. Uh, I, I agree with receiving. you. Some people go up there and they think they're comedians, but they just suck a giant Yeah, dick. yeah. I'm right here. But I can hear yeah. you. Right. If you actually right. watch, like, not you, Gino, if you actually watch, like, oh I watch In Hot Water, and I see how they say something funny, and then a light bulb goes off in their head, and then they hone it in the yeah. show, and then yeah. they, do, they do a spot here and there, and then I see them in person when they finally create the joke. On stage, and I yeah, see how yeah. the team just hey, I threw this out, and now look at it. It's a bit. It's amazing the art. That's my favorite thing. That. Yeah, you should yeah, love yeah, this show. All right, look, Rusty, we're running out of time. I love that. That's a great call, and of course, that's Jay's the man. That's why I took fuck this fag first. Now we're gonna talk to Ryan, who says you're 100 percent right. Thank you, Rusty. Ryan, I think you're telling me that Jay is 100 percent right. Please go. I am Drinko. Thank you. Um, I Drinko. tuned in a little late. I missed most of the conversation. Uh, I did tune in. You know, Aaron's a really funny comic. Agreed. And uh, I got to say, he really topped himself when I heard him say his stand-up saved lives. And uh, that's when I had to call in because it's bullshit. You guys all have egos. You, you know, don't act like yep. you don't. 
You're, you're telling me stand-up saves lives? It does save lives in a way because it deep doesn't. down in places you don't talk about a party you want me on Spotify. You need me on Spotify. And I'm Why sorry you that you're buying the goddamn narrative that like, oh my God, it's not that big a deal. Maybe it is an ego when you fucking right, give up on. so much just yeah, to make you know, people hold laugh. Hold I'm on, Trinko, else Trinko, go. one second, one second. You're confusing having an ego, which everyone has, with being, you know, an egomaniac. Okay. You have an ego. You are concerned about what happens with you and your life. Thanks, That's okay. Rick. But don't pretend you don't have one. That's dishonest. Hey, Ryan, 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 can I, can I, can I jump in here on this one? Please. I, I Please, agree sir. with you. Here's, here's how I've been phrasing it to myself. And when I talk to open micers that ask me for uh, advice, I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. That was confidential this. when this... I asked you that. But go on, Jay. <laughs> Gino, I don't, think, I don't think of you that way. Oh uh, I think of you better. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> what I tell people is that I agree. You to do comedy, to do comedy, you need an ego. You have to need an ego to get on stage. It's very hard to do it without an ego. But your comedy has to become ahead of your ego. It's got to be up above it. So your comedy gets better, and it takes your ego with you as you progress. The people that put their ego ahead of their comedy, where they do things for the ego, i.e., to me and my interpretation, focus just on the laurels, not on the storytelling. What happens is they hit a wall and their, 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 their comedy or their, their art hits that ceiling because they can't get higher. And then they start going through psychosis and falling apart mentally because their values are on being famous in a status chasing platform device that only gives money to the platform and end up falling apart instead of killing the ego, putting their comedy or their art ahead of it and then letting that dictate where their ego goes. Does, Look, that, does I, that make sense? Can I ask you a question? I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm just, I'm genuinely asking. Here we go. Oh, I'll fight you right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay. If you want to hit a girl, I mean, I'll fight I you mean, online. That's... No, I'll fight you online right sure. now. Sure. All right, so my question. Of of miles. Let's go. Down. My question right now. Why do you keep referring to the laurels, though, specifically? Because it, they what? matter so much to you, and I think that no, it the genuinely focus on doesn't. Because you didn't listen to what I said work. then. You did not no, listen you, to I, a I word did that listen. I said. The laurels, the laurels. I think, can I jump in? I uh, assume this is the, uh, the young lady that oh, did the short yeah. film with the uh, drinko. Yes, and it is. Ice cream. So it's almost look the same. Both mashed potatoes great, and Frank. vanilla ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> <white cream. laughs> I love fucking Jay. He's doing great. He's oh doing my great. gosh. Congratulations on your film, but uh, yes, you are clearly concerned with the laurels. Have the same color. No, okay, I'm not concerned with the laurels at all. Again, I'm, I'm sorry. Is your name? Listen Jay? to your audience. The guy was a listener. He's been listening to you. That's how you come across. Yeah, now, look, if, I'm not. It's, it's not, not your not attention. A I don't blame you. You want to get your yeah. movie out there, but don't pretend you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'm not yes. speaking of the laurels. He specifically asked how many film festivals. I said that, and then he said how many laurels. So uh, I didn't, I didn't come that, up though. saying that. It's okay that. to know that. It's your film. So then why are you acting like it's bad to know that? I'm sorry. I, I don't it's, understand. It's, 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 it's well, silly. Let's be honest. The laurels aren't from Cannes. Okay, let's be honest. You're not educated. Whoa. So if you want to go look educated. up the film. Let me put it to you this way. I'll give you a quick rundown. Frankie, do you think she should have got laurels for her cans? That's it's, what, oh, what that means. Oh, Olivia. Yeah. Um, bologna, okay. It's normal bologna I had for for supper. Normal bologna, it's like regular bologna. <laughs> you know he's funnier than all of us, Jay. Just admit it. Just admit it. Uh, admit it. I want to take him on the road and let him do my spots. <laughs> can can I can he do my fuck? Can can I have him do? Can he go on podcast as me? Yeah, oh we can we can set that up, but he's but he wears if a lot of. You can set it up, Gino. I'll do it. He wears a lot of hateful shirts and stuff, doesn't he, Steve? Yeah, I don't the wear hateful shirts at all. Sometimes, yeah, like Marines. he's a good guy, but he's got a lot of hate in his heart, and sometimes we'll no. Just... I think that's a good advertisement for the armed services. <laughs> wow! Give it up for the hey, troops. Can I ask a question? Who? There's Please. seven people here. Yeah, um, so I, like I said, I tuned in late. He's I can't wait to listen to this sounds like a conversation. He's but um, I hear a lot of uh, talk about storytelling. How about some jokes? Yes, sir. <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? Yeah. Jokes by who? Jay? Jay? Why he's got why 800, is every he's got 800 why is every specials online. He's got telling me their life story. I, I'd rather not hear it, quite frankly. I can tell you, I can answer that question. Uh, what happened? Because, I mean, I, I uh, love to hear Taylor Tomlinson's Netflix about how she's depressed, but, you know, jokes <laughs> would be nice. Yeah, no, like, uh, he here's exactly why, Ryan. It's because everyone's so focused on being content platform device divisors where they just put stuff content that they're not focusing on the craft anymore. 
And uh, to put stuff, the, the value of what an entertainer is uh, has taken over what the craft actually is. So the audience interpretation of what's good, it doesn't fucking matter anymore. It's, it really, it, it, there's going to be joke tellers, but there's going to be, there, I don't Frankie like Frankie McDonald, don't <laughs> welcome to mashed potatoes or ice cream. <laughs> Frankie, question number one. Is this uh, ice cream or mashed potatoes? Oh, God. It's, it's ice cream. Correct. <laughs> ice Good cream. Good. Number two. <laughs> ice cream or mashed potatoes? You're one of mashed the best potatoes. couple things we've ever done. <laughs> Correct. Mashed I potatoes. That's a goddamn two genius. Two. Oh, my God. Number Wait. three. Oh, ice cream cheese. or mashed potatoes? Wow. I mashed like potatoes. That's a tough one, man. What is that, Frankie? Like Correct! Fuck! Three oh, for I three! Lost. Number four! Keep your shriek alive, Frankie. Is this ice cream or mashed potatoes? Ice cream. Correct! Motherfucker! Five for five! Frankie McDonald! Oh, Keep the shriek alive! Is this ice cream or mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. Six for six! <laughs> Frankie! Now, for the final question. Number seven, for the lucky number seven streak, is this ice cream or what's happening? No! Oh no. That's fucking big tech getting in the way. Well, we'll. What'd you do? <laughs> Timing! <laughs> I can Not guess. <laughs> My abacus! Right, let's keep going now. My fucking abacus! You nailed it. I do. I do, man. All right, we, we gotta tie What's this all to a neat little ball. With black people. There you With go, Frankie. Black, Frankie. Ice cream or mashed potatoes. potatoes. Oh, that's bo- oh. wrong. That was ice cream. Boo. Next, ice cream or mashed potatoes? Ice potatoes. Correct. Eight for nine. And now for the final tenth question. <laughs> that's ice what cream or mashed potatoes? Oh Want the ice cream? <laughs> that's Correct. That's Someone Frankie. took a shit. All right, look. There you go. To keep it on brand. Like, let me, we got to get out of here. All right, let me say this. Jay White Cotton, I cannot wait to get out to Austin. Anthony We're there. Anthony is going on the show next. What's that? Anthony Akumi is next after hot water. Is he taking my job, this motherfucker? Oh Jay, you were fucking Frankie, great. how you feeling? The, the call I know the schedule. Listen. I found it online. 